I'm a spokesperson at the American Federation for Children, and I like to think of myself as the poster child for what happens when a state can successfully pass school choice and meaningful school choice legislation. surrounded by poverty, crime, and low expectations. Teachers didn't see me as someone who could learn. My parents were very involved with my education. My parents would take off work to, to sit right next to me in the classroom when I was uh, misbehaving. And also being diagnosed with, with ADHD, there was a lot of different things going on. And one day I go to school in a Spider-Man shirt, this really cool Spider-Man shirt I got for my birthday. And a couple of kids came up to me during recess and started pushing me around. And I ended up in the principal's office with a bloody nose and buttons ripped off my shirt. And I was just absolutely demoralized. And I'll never forget my mom kind of gave this, this smirk and said that in five years, Walter will either be in jail or in a body bag. And we don't have time for either of those things. And unfortunately, that was the reality in the community that I grew up in. So she grabbed my hand and we homeschooled. She homeschooled me and my older brother. I'm number two of six children. I would come home and, and tell my parents everything that I learned that day. They were happy that I was getting a great education. They weren't as happy that I was bugging them so much about all the things that I was really excited about learning. And after that point, school became something where I continued to challenge myself to see what I was good at, see what I wasn't good at, and I did everything. If you would have told 12-year-old Walter that he'd be sitting at the White House multiple times, um, engaging on a political level about the, the education landscape of our entire country, he wouldn't, he wouldn't believe you. There are kids who can be saved today. And if, it's, if we can save one kid, it, it's definitely worth it. But there are families who are looking for other options. And so I don't think we should let perfect be the enemy of good when it comes to essentially saving children's lives and giving them a high quality education. Mm -hmm.